when I was abandoned by both of my biological parents, I took on the name orphan. And mm -hmm. I was. I was orphaned. I was abandoned. I, I was a victim. I faced abuse. And so there's a real element of those things happened to me, but those were not God's names for me. That was not how God named me. And, and I, as I studied the Bible, I realized so many of God's people were mistreated. They were abandoned. You know, Joseph was sold with trafficking. Moses was abandoned. Esther was an orphan. Hagar was mistreated. And yet all of them, they didn't stay in that state. They didn't stay in that label. Esther rose to be courageous. You know, Joseph, what an overcomer Joseph was. Hagar gives us the name in scripture, the God who sees me, the God mm -hmm. who knows me. Mm -hmm. What intimacy was birthed out of that time, out of that naming time for her, instead of listening to this label that would keep her chained to her past. He said, I think that God names us prophetically for the call that he has on our life to reflect his name. You know, God said to Abraham, I'm going to make you a father of nations. And Abraham believed, I mean, he was infertile. He and Sarah, his wife, were unable to have children. And so he was like, how is that going to happen? How am I going to be the father of nations? But God spoke his new name for what he was going to become and the plans that God had in the future for him. And so we've got to stop renaming ourselves prematurely and listening to these labels that limit us. And we've got to ask God, please rename me. What is the name that you have for me?